All right, guys, I wanted to show you a video on the side cart mounted projector. As you can see in my room that I have here, I don't have a pretty high ceiling, so it's very impractical to mount anything off the ceiling. Now I started with this setup in my garage so I could mount it on my garage ceiling. This is the sim in the box setup. Now I have since upgraded the computer, the projector, um, to a little higher capacity. And I just wanna show you how you can get a good image with the side cart if you get the right projector. So as you can look at my projector now, I have Whispering Pines up on the screen. I'm gonna show you how to keystone this in so that um, you can see that it's possible if you have space limitations like this room has. Now I'm going to be upgrading to a um, an enclosure from Carl's place that's going to allow me to have the projector mounted above my head so it's straight on. So I'm gonna leave this here. And as you can see, the being the projectors off to the left, you, you definitely have a distorted side image. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how I keystone this. The first thing I wanna do is just get it so it looks like it's not distorted on the screen. So as you can see, we have the 3D keystone feature, which is where I, I like to start. Actually, yeah, we'll start here at the 3D keystone. And the first one I like to do, let's see here if it's gonna let me do it. There we go. All right, first thing I like to do is to straighten the screen out. So horizontal is gonna be your right left orientation. So I'm going to get this so it's starting to swing back around. So it's kind of like a door swinging out to the, out to the left or um, opening there. So this is gonna come down and what you're gonna see is very quickly I get it pretty close here. And that's all I wanna do for this first step here is to get that um, horizontal plane right. Then I'll go back into the display and I'm gonna to change to the appropriate aspect ratio. This is a, a 12 and a half by like eight and a half foot screen. So it's in that four to three aspect ratio. So I'm gonna find that on here. All right, so there we go. So now we're in the four to three aspect ratio. Now what we can do is center this image on the screen before we have to do anything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the I'm gonna come over to the um, projector and what you have here is you have this open, this is, so this is the BenQ LK 936 ST. We have vertical shifting and horizontal shifting and then we have a zoom function and our, um, our lens to make the image clearer. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be over here moving that and I'll put this back on the screen so you can see it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom it in. I'm gonna move you guys back to the, back to the center of the screen here. And this strategy tends to get the image on the center of the screen so you have the maximum amount of functionality with the keystoning features. And again, I have no background in audiovisual other than just futzing with the stuff I purchased myself. So you can do this, but you can also get someone to help you professionally. So I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in to try to get this image centered. So as you can see, it's a little bit sloped to the bottom. So, so here's my vertical uh, options. So I can, you have, really have a lot of play in this. So I'm gonna get this close to the center and then I'm gonna move it to the right to kind of center it, and then I'm gonna zoom back out. All right, and I can see as I zoom back out that it has a bias towards the top, so I'm gonna bring that down. There we go, we're bringing that down. And we're getting pretty close here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more, and we're already almost to where we need it to be before we do our corner fit to kind of really dial it in. All right, and even this is acceptable. 
But if you want to try to really capture your full screen, now we can go back to the, the keystoning feature in the um, installation area here. And it's, you have that 3D keystone. Now I don't need to do much more of that because I'm happy with where I'm in, where I'm at right now. The way to dial this in, in, in is to get to the corner fit. So here, I have the ability now to, if you look at the upper right corner, this is where I'm starting, I have the ability to really kind of tidy it up next to that, next to that uh, edge of the screen and get it really close. Good, so that upper right corner is good. We'll go back and we'll go down. So if you notice here, I cannot go farther right. So if I can't go farther right, that lower right area that's the gray arrow won't let me go farther right. So I have to actually now use that horizontal offset again and I'm actually gonna go back up because now I know I'm at the far right of this. So I need to line this purple line up and then I'm gonna shift it over. So I've got, that's the farthest right this will correct. So now I'm gonna go back into the projector and shift it to the right. So now I haven't shifted to the right. I know that bottom, I cannot go any more right. So that's where that has to be. Okay, now I'm gonna go back up to that upper right corner and fix that. All right, so we're in the upper right corner. We're gonna bring this now back. So that's pretty good. We're gonna bring it up, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna go back to our lower right and I'm gonna lower it. So that, that square is kind of right on that bottom corner. I'm happy with that. Now we're gonna go over here. Okay, so now I have the same problem on this side. I can go up and I can go right, but I can't go left. So now I have to zoom in a little bit more. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more to get that, that full coverage back. All right, so now we got that, that coverage good on the bottom and the left. And now we're gonna corner fit that upper left and then we'll go back to that upper right. All right, so the upper left's gonna let me corner fit that one. So we're pretty good there. And we're pretty good there, I'm bringing that down now. As you can look, see in the upper left, that corner's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go back to the upper right and I'm gonna tidy that corner up again. All right, so that corner is not coming down all the way. All right, so now we'll bring that edge back in. Good, so that looks good. Now let's go back to this one and we'll get this fitted back up into the corner. Okay, I'll go back to this one. And this one again is not letting me go farther left. So I'm gonna have to back out of this again. I'm gonna bring this over because now I know that's the farthest extreme left I can go. And we're gonna slide it just ever so slightly. We might have to zoom it a little bit too. I'm gonna zoom it a little bit and I'm gonna actually move my projector a little bit to the left. All right, so my left and right here are, are quite good. Now I'll bring that top down, top to the right. So I'm pretty happy with that left side. Now we'll go back to the right. And we'll finish up there. All right, so this is gonna allow me to go to the right. And I'm gonna just shift it down a little bit. So I can bring that up. Okay, so we're gonna shift it left a little bit, although we're pretty close. Pretty close.
Yeah, and as you look now, I kind of have that purple line all the way around my screen. And if you take a look at my image, as I exit out of this, you can see that this looks, this looks quite nice and there's very little distortion, if any. So that is one solution for you. People who do not have the ability to mount your projector on the ceiling. It works great. Just make sure you know the, the specifications that you have on your projector. Make sure you ask the questions you need to ask. You know, call the manufacturer, see what uh, they can do to help you. And uh, I hope this helps. Thanks.